Story time. The day started off in pain. I stayed up till 5 a.m. and I woke up at 8 a.m. I decided not to go to school this morning because it was 9 a.m. and my grandma planned for the adventure to start at 10.30. So I went and got ready and cleaned up the kitchen. I was on a wall, so I went on my computer and gathered some clips from stream for my TikToks. I called my grandma to pick me up at the house instead of at the school. And that's when the adventure began. 10.34, I got a call. She was waiting outside. And we drove to the nail salon. When we got there, I learned very quickly that it wasn't at the mall, like an inside mall, but inside of like a small wall of buildings type deal. A few interesting stores, but the key ones was the nail salon that we went to and a restaurant, which she said she would take me out for lunch afterwards. We walk in and it was far from what I expected. There was a wall closest to the door with six to eight leather chairs and pretty buckets by each area. On the white side, there was four tables stacked out, creating a walkway down the middle for staff and walk area. The front counter was by the window. The place had about eight staff on call, and there was like five other guests getting their nails done. Very friendly people. Everyone said hi to my grandma. Seems like she went there a lot. I was a bit shy with the new surroundings, but I followed my grandma. My grandma convinced me to get my nails and my toenails done, so she was going to give up a spot. But luckily, they had an extra spot so she could get her nails done, too. We sat down, and there was two staff members helping me. Super kind. And I showed them the ideas for my nails. Rapunzel-themed with golden sparkles. This is what it looks like. This is the reference photo. It was about an hour, maybe two hours later, and I was done. I got sparkly purple nails for my feet and I got these beautiful versions of my nails but they were shorter so they were much better for gaming and I was in love these are what they look like now my grandma was finishing up so I went and waited she picked out emerald green nails to match my grad dress after that we walked to the restaurant nearby to get some lunch the waiter was either incredibly stressed very busy or just not a repeat not much of a people person <laughs> um she was ignoring my grandma and and she you know it was it was awkward to watch um i ordered a sandwich with chicken and bacon and my grandma got wings when the food got here it was like a big map with three pieces of bread not much chicken the bacon was kind of a miss still delicious i think i could have just been very hungry as we were chatting and finishing up some stuff i didn't finish all my food so I asked for a box at this time I did drink three iced teas and then in the morning I had my coffee drink so I was like living my best life I was in awe with my nails it was amazing day when the waiter bought us a box she told us that a young gentleman sitting behind me paid for a meal now first of all he was behind me so I have like no face like nothing to think about when it comes to like who paid for a meal but it was like crazy kindness and i was like oh my goodness my grandma thought it was a prank this was the first time being told for the both of us that someone bought our food and it was really cool we had no idea who did it but if you paid for a grandma and a granddaughter and you magically somehow watch this video thank you to wrap up the day my grandma took me to the grocery shop to get some desserts for dinner we had dinner at six tonight we were walking around and we got my mom flowers. I convinced my grandma to pick out donuts as one of the side desserts because my mom really wanted them yesterday. Um, then we got some ham so that I could have a yummy sandwich. Pretty much, you know, just getting some, some side groceries when we were there. We got a few things, but the dessert we picked out was a yummy strawberry shortcake with two stickers. Now, one thing MC Anna loves is a good sale. So the stickers had $2 off, and then another sticker beside it saying $5. So the cake that originally was $17 was a $10 cake, and I was, like, so happy. When I got home, I told my dad all the stories and adventures that we had, and then I was like, I'm going to go edit some more TikToks. 6 p.m. came around really fast. Me and my mom left first, and it was, like, five minutes, and the rest of my family left. For context, we live right beside my grandparents' place, like, the house is right beside mine, so it was like a one minute walk to the house. We walk in and have this delicious fish dinner that my grandparents caught the previous week of camping. I had like three bites of the trout and then I got sick of dealing with the baby bones. My mom had doubled the amount of fish, it was like I had three bites, so she had like a lot more. 
but she got in total three, but she had like three fish cut up, whatever. I was like sick of this fish. I was like, no more baby bones. Um, after that dinner, um, me and my sibling decided to go play with like a bouncy ball. We were just chilling in the living room and then I turned on the Miraculous movie. If you guys haven't watched it, it's amazing. I love it so much. The music is such a bop. I love Miraculous. Huge Miraculous fan. If you can tell. Um, and then we got cake. And the cake was fire. I was worried because it looked really good. But then if you have sales on it, is it really that good? No, it is. It is amazing. We finished the movie off and left around 9 p.m. And that's when I had a midnight snack. And then realized that I only got three hours of sleep during the whole day. So I went and called it a night. It was a very fun day for Sienna. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to tell me if you want to hear more cool stories give me you know some type of sign to keep making these because these are really fun to make um i have a bunch of more weird and random stories to tell um for example like the crazy drama that comes with directing a play or adventures of fellow mc and why i want andrew band or how i i how the fame quote unquote changed me see y'all next time and i hope you have an amazing day goodbye